Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a ballistic test on three of the uh, top muzzle loading bullets. Um, the SST by Hornady, the Power Belt Aerolite, and the Power Belt Copper Aerotip uh, bullets. They're all 300 grains. They were all shot using 100 grains of uh, triple seven in pellet form. Now I'm not going to tell you what the velocity uh, was because everybody has different you know uh, lengths and different you know guns and that's homework that you're gonna have to kind of figure out for the most part. Uh, when it comes to accuracy these three bullets do very well in a majority of rifles. Um, the SST because it's it's a sabot, uh, tends to do a little bit better in most rifles, but it just depends. Uh, they all do very well in in, in my rifle, and um, you know when it comes to accuracy, you know nothing beats two hundred nine powder, and uh, CCI um, uh, primers uh, two hundred nine primers. Uh, you could also use other primers. Just stay consistent with your primers, and. Um, <clears throat> You know, I would recommend if you're gonna, you know, do accuracy tests with these. The way I I always do accuracy tests is I shoot uh, from a clean bore. I shoot three shots with one type of bullet. Then I I clean the barrel. Then I I shoot three shots with the next bullet, and that's how I keep on going. Um. And the reason why, there's some people that will clean between each shot, and to me that is not realistic. Uh, the main reason why is because when I'm out in the field, I'm not going to clean between each shot. So I, you know, I normally, you know, anticipate taking three shots at the most and seeing what kind of accuracy I get out of it. So we're going to go straight to uh, the part where I show you what these three bullets have done to the gel and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like okay so this is uh, the view of all three of them and you can tell all three of them have shrapneled very decently or mushroomed complete pass-throughs um, <clears throat> the SST as you can tell very nice wound channel very nice mushroom a couple inches in the aerolite tip tends to mushroom a bit more even further in about five to ten inches in the um, arrow tip copper nice mushrooming and um, all of them you know deposit and leave shrapnel behind which is to some degree what you want that's what that's what causes uh, other wound channels so but all of them doing relatively well and relatively the same thing um, not uh, you know they're not flying off or tumbling from what I can tell and uh, you know doing uniform mushrooms the way they should be doing so <clears throat> I hope this has helped you a little bit because um, I've honestly wondered about some of these bullets and there are some gel tests out there but not much on the black powder side and when it comes to the accuracy like I say you guys are gonna have to do the homework uh, I'm not gonna supply accuracy tests on this or velocity test because you know everybody likes to use a different kind of powder or a different setup it's a different rifle and you know everybody does things their own way and that's the fun part about black powder that's uh, you know the interesting part about it so I hope you guys enjoyed this and like I always say go out in the woods put up a target shoot it full of holes